I mean, all that fame and fortune and girls being thrown at that young man, that is too much. It's like eating too much candy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I said, how do you help a kid? But that's the reason I work with young people. To give a good foundation of, you need a moral foundation, you need a spiritual foundation, as well as academic, but it's something you get when you're very young, in your mom and daddy's house, and in your uh, school, that helps you to take, navigate the turbulent waters that are out there before you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. something. Okay. And, and Justin isn't doing a good job. He's doing and a horrible you, job. You want to see that you to have all the money you want. Okay, man. And you want him to be famous, but you want him to be happy within and stable. But it's something he didn't get. It's something he didn't get. And I hope he survives. And I hope he doesn't throw all his money away. Because material things, we all like nice cars. We all like nice houses. In America, we like big houses. And we like a money. But that is not everything. There's something else that you have that makes you happy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Money is not everything. I have walked away from jobs paying me good money. I wasn't happy. I don't make a lot of money as a substitute. I'm not going to die rich, maybe, as I win the lottery. But, and I play it. But uh, there is something else that makes you happy. Your relationship with people and with me, my relationship with the good master and my wife and all of that and my daughter and grandchildren and giving that love to all this and receiving all that love. That is important. But let me quit. A, wait, wait. All right, but Justin needs it. What's your favorite like theme of a book or type of a book? type of a book, yeah. it varies. Now, right, right now, I, you know, I like to keep up to date. And I'm telling you the truth. I'm in everybody's business. <laughs> Yet social studies majors, we, all the problems of the world, what's happening in the Ukraine, we are into it. And we try to say, how are we going to solve this problem? We're just like the friends, and we keep up with what they're doing. But right now, the other West more. That's what I'm reading. I'm reading this book about two boys growing up in the ghetto. One comes out successful. The other one gets in the criminal justice system, I believe. But I'm reading it black boy. I still, although I'm out here in the later, Substituting, I'm still loyal to the youth of Kansas City because of their being African American. Of course, I love African American kids too. But this is all about that. And it, being an educator, being an adult, it helps you to understand why kids growing 
growing up in the ghetto, in poverty, single parent home, a gone girl. You understand? I get into that. And then what else? I mean, if you've heard the book, David and Goliath. It's a bestseller. I started on that back in October and put it down. And I had, I'm interested in that, how a misfit can be successful. That Malcolm Caldwell writes about success. Everybody wants success. Being a teacher, I am all about promoting kids to be successful. But he's talking about even a misfit. You can be at, because who was supposed to win that fight between David and Goliath? Who was supposed to win? Goliath. He had all that arm on Big John, but a little bitty shepherd boy and his strategist, he won that fight. And it shows how a little guy can win. All right, but I also, I have another book. It was, uh, it was, uh, they had sold out at uh, Barnes and Noble, Malala, the girl from Pakistan, who was shot by a uh, shot because she stood for education for girls. And she made a statement at the UN, a speech. She said, and that I think inspires students and teachers. She says, one teacher, one book, one child can change this whole world. That's pretty good. But let me talk about let me talk. You got work to do. I better get it on. Uh, what time do you get out of here? Uh, we get out of here when the big hand's like on the nine. I mean, it's like the easiest way to go. <laughs> you are supposed to have a vocabulary test. And then you're going to kill a mockbird. I'm going to kill a mockbird. Good stuff doing their toll. And you know I'm sometimes I don't do everything I'm supposed to do, but I try. It's because you're a great I sub. Uh, students will take the recursive lesson number four vocabulary quiz. You can give them a few minutes to study before you pass on the quiz. This should take 15 to 18 minutes. Are you ready for the quiz? No. Study! Get it! <laughs> Where's Sam? There's Sam. Oh, <laughs>